It is fair to say that during the Hadean Eon, Earth was a sterile planet. Nothing could have survived this hellish environment. But fast forward time about 500 million years after the late heavy bombardment, and we get evidence for prokaryotic life, such as bacteria and blue-green algae. But we have to move forward in time again at the Proterozoic Eon to see the first fossil evidence of diverse and complex multicellular organisms. The beginning of the Cambrian is the time of the first organisms with shells. Trilobites were dominant toward the end of the Cambrian period, with over 600 genera of these mud-burrowing scavengers. As soon as life started to blossom, Extinction was not long overdue. Even though nature has thrown many extinction curveballs towards life, such as the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs, life has managed to find a way to survive. Life, uh, finds a way. Join the exploration of the Cosmos Lab by subscribing to their official YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for new updates. It is estimated that in 2029, a killer asteroid known as Apophis will be headed on a collision course towards Earth. I'll let Neil deGrasse Tyson explain it best. There's an asteroid coming and we'll have a close approach in 2029 on April 13th. A Friday, by the way. <laughs> it's about 300 meters across and it will come closer to Earth than our orbiting communication satellites. Yeah, I could say, you know, why don't we have a space program so that we don't go extinct? Dinosaurs went extinct. They didn't have a space program. I don't want to be the laughing stock of aliens in the galaxy if they learned that we could have deflected an asteroid because we had the intelligence, opposable thumbs, and an existing space program, but chose not to because of funding short-sightedness. We'd be the laughing stock of the galaxy to have gone extinct for not having that foresight. Besides killer asteroids, there are giant explosions in distant galaxies that send out swarms of powerfully energetic gamma ray bursts. They are some of the most powerful events in the universe. Although gamma ray bursts are rare events, if one were to hit Earth, it would be the universe's way of giving us the middle finger. With the gamma rays being directly at Earth, the radiation would destroy a significant portion of our atmosphere specifically the ozone layer. The end result would be mass extinctions of most species of life on our planet. There is something more frightening in the cosmos than a gamma ray burst, something we can't even see, a rogue black hole. It is estimated that our galaxy, the Milky Way, contains about 100 million black holes. The thought alone of a rogue black hole with a trajectory toward the solar system is nerve shattering. Luckily for us, the odds of a black hole devouring Earth are estimated to be one in a trillion. But what if we were to be that unlucky? It wouldn't take a supermassive black hole to completely annihilate the solar system. In fact, a black hole smaller than the smallest planet Mercury would be able to destroy the entire solar system. Because its mass would be several thousand times greater than the biggest planet Jupiter. The intense gravitational pull of the black hole would tear our planet apart, causing devastating earthquakes and supervolcanoes. Finally, when reaching Earth's orbit, it would reduce our planet to a smoldering magma-laden rock. Another way the universe could destroy life on Earth, and everything else probably, is via vacuum decay. In this scenario, a quantum bubble of vacuum decay pops into existence somewhere in the universe. Inside this subatomic bubble, the laws of physics are wildly different than those in our universe. Furthermore, it expands at the speed of light, destroying all planets, stars, comets, asteroids, and even the forces of the universe. The only bit of relief we get from vacuum decay is that it expands at the speed of light, so we wouldn't even know it was coming. If the cosmic dice is in life's favor, and these doomsday scenarios never occur, then one thing is for certain. In approximately five billion years, the sun will begin the helium burning process, turning into a red giant star. When it expands, its outer layers will consume Mercury and Venus and vaporize Earth ending a nine billion year old journey of life. Cosmos Lab extends heartfelt gratitude to all viewers and supporters for their continuous engagement. Your enthusiasm fuels our exploration of the cosmos. Thank you for being part of our journey to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Subscribe for more exciting cosmic adventures.